a Popeye's worker has been, well, let go, fired because she exposed a location where um, they had a lot of roaches. Here it is. Just got fired from Popeye's for recording in a public place. But if you didn't know, I recorded them roaches too. But they needed my help, so they didn't fire me yesterday. But come today, they need my help, so they fired me. About that TikTok. Oh, no, that's against, oh, uh, no, that's against Popeye's policy, to right? To record and, uh, to record inside the restaurant and to record employees. Anybody that's employed Popeye's inside the restaurant. Were you aware of that? No, I wasn't. You wasn't? Okay. Unfortunately, you know that you wasn't aware, but, you know, uh, I mean, you did a video. I mean, you stated her name. And, you know, TikTok is very viral, right? Right. People tend to share that. So, unfortunately, we're going to have to let you go, okay? All right. All right. Well, wow, pretty. Got through cleaning out what they told you to clean out. And this is what you get. Nasty. I'm so glad I changed my dietary regimen a couple years ago. All right. Put up the picture full mask. I got to give you the background. I know. I know. After being fired from her job at Popeyes for filming, Miss. Takia Rams, uh, Ransom outed the Popeye's location for roach infestation, moldy equipment, and overall terrible hygiene practice. How the location still sported a 98 health score is a mystery. Not to me, not a mystery to me at all. Uh, according to Ms. Ransom, she tried to call the numerous issues. Uh, she, she tried to call the numerous issues to attention, uh, but was met with pushback. She tried to form a management. She re recalled an incident where she got into an argument with her general manager over the roaches in the rice. Whole new definition for dirty rice at Popeyes. This is sad. Let's put it up full mass. So here's the thing: she literally tries to go to localized management, general management. Nobody does anything, but she does recording. Okay, well, well we're going to do something now. You're fired. Now you want to do something. She literally did a public service for everybody who has been eating at that establishment. And why is it that management would not care about the people who are, who are going there to patronize the company? I even got into it with the GM over the roaches being in the rice. Like, we got into a bad, like, she didn't even want to throw it away, said Ransom to Action News 5. She was like, this is a product, Ransom added. I was like, oh, okay, but it has roaches in it. I'm not going to serve that, end quote. At the showcase in the conditions, including chicken being left out on the floor. Popeye's location was then finally shut down. Their employees retrained. One Popeye's manager supposedly thanked Ransom for calling out the location's hazardous conditions. Yes, we're, we're very thankful for this now. Yes, yes, absolutely. Thank you for bringing it to our attention. Um, to the manager. You must think we boo-boo the fool. You know good and damn well those roaches did not just come in. 
They just got there. They came there yesterday. Absolutely nothing about the condition of the restaurant in this video is acceptable. Even though the health department visited the damn restaurant yesterday and confirmed no issues at the restaurant located at 4720 Showcase Boulevard, Memphis, Tennessee. Stay the hell away, y'all. We shut it down, thoroughly cleaned, and we'll um, not reopen until we understand what happened. And team members have been retrained on proper procedures. <sighs> Ms. Um, Ransom, I'm the hero of this story. Also posted a video allegedly of a manager from the restaurant thanking her for what she did. In a way, he said she was a hero and she had no idea what she did for the people in the community, leaving her to say in an interview with Fox 11, if I didn't get fired or didn't say anything, they would still be serving the rice with the roaches. <laughs> End quote. That part. See, y'all try, tried to play uh, I did sister. Uh, She's smart, she's compassionate, she actually gives a damn about people, told you I'm not serving rice with roaches in it, what's wrong with you? You all decided to ignore her multiple times. What was she left to do? Follow some policy and serve people contaminated roach infested food or do the right thing like she did? All right, Jordan, thoughts here? Yeah. this. This is corporate corporate negligence, and you know if they they should be thanking her, they should be giving her a promotion yep. because the manager didn't seem to care. The manager didn't seem to want to take action. The fact that she tried to do something about it is great. That should be celebrated, right? These these companies just don't care. But also, again, this is, seems to be a reoccurring theme today. The health inspector. What were they doing? <laughs> like this yep. is you know a, a, they probably I didn't think, even come, Jordan. They probably didn't even I, come by and check. Or, or somebody need to check a bank account. It's one or the other. <laughs> Absolutely. When uh, when I was in Ohio and I was a reporter, we tried to do a story just checking health records at you know, restaurants at the university in town. And the health inspector was like, oh, you know what? I'm just going to go over there tomorrow and get you a fresh batch of reports. And we did a little digging. He hadn't even been going for like a decade. Wow. <laughs> so, yeah. A decade? Oh my gosh, <laughs> yeah. man. So yes, I, there's absolutely a scenario where this person was just like checking a box. Oh yeah, 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 and just not doing their jobs. But you invest in these jobs, if you make them well paying, make them competitive with the private sector, you're going to see people who appreciate value and actually put forth a good good work ethic into those public sector or yeah, public sector jobs. Yep. Yep, agreed.